Greenshift uses Gutenberg Editor to create your website. In this video, we'll be going over the most important sections of the Gutenberg Editor. You can add blocks by pressing the blue button in the left hand side. There you have an overview of all the blocks available. You can add blocks by clicking, by clicking and dragging, by typing in forward slash and then your block name or pressing the add block icon in the editor itself. There are two types of Gutenberg blocks you need to know. One set of blocks are the container blocks. With those you can create the layout you're looking for. For example, a one column, two column or three column layout. In a container you can add the other blocks like the advanced heading, heading block or the advanced text block. When adding a block, you can change its content. For example, changing the title of this section, hello world. And as you can see, there are some quick settings available on the top of the block. For instance, what kind of heading it is, the alignment, the styles, which for power users is very amazing. The spacing, typography and background, colors and other settings, dynamic text. You can also bold a piece of text or italic, create a link or have a lot of other options available for you very quickly. For specific settings, you can go to the right side where you have a side panel. In the side panel, you have all the same options available and even more. For example, the size of the heading, but also some advanced features like animations, transforms and other things. When creating your website, it's very important to also know the responsiveness of the website itself. You can change the mode you're looking at uh, by pressing the kind of laptop icon. You have desktop, tablet, and mobile versions. This is also reflected in the side panel, which you can see now the mobile portrait mode is selected. This one for tablet, and this one is for desktop. This makes it easy to differentiate the sizes between the displays, for example, 36 pixels. Up 20 pixels on tablet and 12 pixels mobile. The Gutenberg editor also has some other options available for you. Greenshift offers a style book where you can see what kind of colors your global elements, variables and classes are available. You have templates where we show templates as an example for our different add-ons as well. For example, the animation add-on where you can see and make this kind of animation. and have differing modes of viewing the Gutenberg editor itself. For instance, the spotlight mode, which highlights the section you're working on, the full screen mode to see everything or also see the admin UI and other things are available in here as well. One thing I personally use most often is the code editor as well to just copy and paste the sections I've created to share with others. You now have got a basic understanding of what the Gutenberg editor is and how you can use it. Now I would like to encourage you to experiment with Greenshift and the Gutenberg editor to see what you can come up with with the crazy things.
Man, see you.